Do, 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 do. Evening. My dudes, who wants to recap last week for inspiration? Ah! <laughs> we <laughs> dropped into the sea, we fought a kraken, we kicked its ass, we did a parlay. Yeah, that's pretty succinct. Yeah. We yeah, did a parlay that's... with a real <laughs> sweet captain of the, Mon the Munster Pirates, and he fucks for sure. And we promised approximately all of the money, and we're guess we're kind of just hoping that he takes it out of like the fleet and cargo that he steals when his fleet goes to war. Because if not, like everybody's going to be working contract for a while. Don't worry about it. Um, the captain does fuck. That's important. Uh, he has he has an ogre who is his like second in command, and that guy was cool. Um. They were all categorically not cool. They were fine. They're a bunch of monsters. Like they were fine. They did like kind of try to rob us. Yep. Which yep. could have it could have been worse, and it could have been better. We had some really lucky persuasion checks in there as well. I think. Zesha rolled like a crit on one of them that was really, really helpful. The greatest, yeah? Yeah, the greatest thing, though, is um, Yop's uh, uh, encounter with the Kraken being sw oh, yeah. swallowed by oh, it, my God. being Hammered killed her by way it, out. and so then uh, unconscious, not, not killed. Is, is yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Well, oh, being, being slowly that. devoured yeah. by it. Yeah. Um, so, and then coming body. back to body. consciousness just with, with a yeah. <laughs> with a fucking hammer too. It's so brutal. Just yeah, burst pound a hole out. in the side of it with a hammer. God yeah. damn! Th there was no <laughs> slicing a little no. exit. There's no rending. There's just like hit, 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 hit. Blood curse freezing it over and shattering yeah. it like oh, glass. Yeah, Sub Zero style. That's sick. <laughs> You know, sub zero stuff. Sub zero stuff. <laughs> All right. Uh, Lucky has returned you to the lighthouse. Uh, I feel like it's been a while since we've been here. I feel like most of our communing happens out at the uh, casino nowadays. Mm -hmm. True. But either way, y'all are here. I believe that there's some um, plans to be made, some organization. I don't know what you guys want to do. I, I believe that our friend Thoreau? I wrote his name down. It's in, it's in Humblewood. Not Humblewood. God, what game is this? What day is this? Thursday. <laughs> yeah, Thoreau Goldier, our half-dragon friend, uh, said that we have a couple oh, of weeks... Oh, because he's draconic, it's not French. It's Thoreaux. Thoreaux. That makes a lot more sense, especially since there's no you in the name. So I don't know mm -hmm. how I came to throw. I do like that you tried. I well, appreciate that. Regardless, uh, our Sea Prince air quotes ally uh, <laughs> did indicate that we have, I think, it's either two or three weeks before the attack. Three, the I think. Princes. I think it's three. I did not get a chance to listen. Um, and, you know, that might have been something useful to write down, but I didn't. So, you know. Um, point is, we have a couple weeks before the actual attack at which, and it's during that attack that he will do his thing. Um, so we have a couple weeks without, we have a couple weeks to plan. I won't say a couple weeks to, of, of no worries, but uh, we only have a couple weeks before we really need to be in Seton and have any allies there that we, we might want to uh, have in place. Um, and we, do we need to take a ship to Seton? Or do or can Lucky bring us to the city? Like, what is what is it we need to do to get there? You can take the road. You can sail. Lucky can take you there. 
Yeah. Okay. Right. And I I think we need to find out um how many people, if any, Kira Shadowbreaker intends on bringing because Lucky may be able to take us but may not be able to take that whole conglomerate. Yeah. And the and I know we're kind of talking like above table here about this, but um, and the Shadow Breaker, they're gonna be cool with working with the pirates. Like that's all copacetic. That's a um, real good question. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> okay. But I just like... I didn't know where those factions like stood because uh, I never dealt with those people, or if I did, I certainly do not I... remember it don't think that Kiara has really had to deal much with the pirates, because as I recall, Fort Burl um, is not on the coast. It's fairly inland, yeah. Yeah. So um, they, it may be sort of a don't care situation on their part. Um, when on but the she is, as I recall, Fort Burl is part of the kingdom of Keoland, or no? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, ostensibly, she is under the same rule that we are. Yes, that is correct. So, at, at the very least, it will be easier for her to move her troops to Seton than it will be for, say, the lizard folk or the merfolk or any of our inhuman allies, non-human mm -hmm. allies. Man, imagine we had a bunch of inhumans. That'd be awesome. Or a bunch of humans, you know. I mean, that'd be cool too. That is, it's Marvel. Joke. Yeah, can I be the queen whose hair does all that awesome shit? <laughs> uh, and and yes, no, we could deal with the, Cal the not Caladec, sweet Jesus, Zolek situation here in town. Yeah, somehow. We could also like meet the Rat King. <laughs> I'll. <laughs> We got a lot of things. Hey, trip to the do. Rat King. I was thinking about him earlier today. Oh. Yeah. Somebody tell us that he's in. Yeah. Where did they tell us he was in? He's not in Salt Marsh. No, he's on. He's somewhere on Prime Material. Yeah, yeah. We know he's yeah, not is, in was he in the Dreadwood? Uh -huh. That sounds right. Yeah. 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 God, I don't Look, want to go back into the Dreadwood. We got a lot of elements on the table that are definitely really good big bads for the next campaign <laughs> for the next like franchise that comes along um, lauren definitely does not want to go back into the dreadwood like, if we don't have to she does not it wasn't my favorite place oh, makaris's like? first vote <laughs> is the ghost the rat king <laughs> what to kill it like what no, just to go on the Dreadwood and figure out what that's about. Just to hang out? No, uh, I mean, he misses his crazy magic powers. <laughs> so you just want to go have a chill hang with the Rat King in the Dreadwood? I mean, it depends on the conversation. <laughs> I mean, that could that, that could be another ally for, you know, Vicara, so that makes, you know, makes sense. Okay. Oh, so we have networking with the Rat King. We have kill a vampire. <laughs> We have, I guess, try to fucking just kill Scare and Wave Chaser. That's uh, my second. <laughs> first off, we have a long fucking rest. Right now. Before we go back into the town and pick another fight with some guards. We long rest. It definitely has been a while since we have rested. It's... It's, it's who who picked a fight with guards? I don't I don't know anything about. It's that. been <laughs> only probably like a day, right? Like it's in the evening right now. It's just uh, been a really long day. Technically, technically, I believe Krellick and Vicaris also did just different guards and, and yeah. no actual combat. Role. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we were the mature ones, guys. <laughs> right. You could learn a right, thing, right? right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nonviolence. Um, ever heard of it? <laughs> So yeah, regardless of what everybody chooses to do today, a uh, long rest is probably a good thing for everyone. Uh, yeah, that sounds good to get. A, uh, I know a lot. Uh, uh, half the half the team is is uh, wants a rest. They've had a long day or a long series of days. 
Um, I think that's a good idea. Um, we could check in with Farron as well, um, just to see like how it's going. You know, are you? How's your body? <laughs> How many days has it been since the fight again against um, Fahir? Fahir? Not Fahir. Not Hamir. Fahir. Hamir. Fahir. Hamir? Look. <laughs> I think it's... Yes, Hamir. Uh, it's, it's been a few days because there was trip to the Feywilds, which took a couple of days in material time. True, 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 true. All right, yeah, yeah. Uh, and the Seagrove is not very far outside of Saltmarsh, so that's like not even a day trip. Yeah. Gotta roll survival to get through it, though. Yeah, we... Uh, okay. That went so well last time. It went tremendously. <laughs> we have a blood this time. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm just writing down things. Farron check. Vampire fight. Um... I I don't think I don't think we're I don't think we're doing the Rat King. <laughs> I don't think I don't think enough people are in for the Rat King. Um, any yes. any sign of Joshua? Uh, uh oh. You did leave him in timeout. I didn't leave him in timeout. I sent him off on an errand. Oh. Yeah, right. I guess he he'd be back. Um, could you remind me again of what you've asked? Because I'll remember what I was going to do, but I don't remember what you asked. Uh, long story short, and this is why I was reminded of it, I sent him to the Rat King um, right. to, A, uh, let the Rat King know, like, you don't need to send a spy. Like, my shit's not secret. I'll tell you whatever you want to know about uh, what I'm making. Right. In exchange if, for everything yeah. you know about the Scarlet Brotherhood. Right. right? And also, I said, Joshua's a good boy. Like, leave him Like, leave him in my care. Like, he's done everything he's going to do for you now that I know what's up. Like, he can't do anything else for you. So uh, let him work for me now. Right. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, then Joshua can report um, what... Joshua can report the Rat King actually knows quite a bit about the Scarlet Brotherhood and their, like, f frequent activity, uh, particularly in big cities like Saltmarsh and Seton. I say big cities like Saltmarsh, but look, that is that is a larger city in this province. Um, uh, he can point out hideouts, locations, and movements. Uh, and let's see, what is it that was... Um, um, and also knows that the Duke is not aligned, uh, allied with the Scarlet Brotherhood knowingly. He is being intimidated uh, through para uh, by, and, and uh, uh, through paranoia uh, to make decisions and putting decisions into the hands of. Uh, members of the Brotherhood that have found their way into power. Um, presumably like Scarin. Uh, and can clearly identify that some of the routes and maps uh, and charts and, and directions that the Marines are being uh, sent on are in fact entirely in distraction from when the brotherhood that consists a of a majority of members of this of the hold of the sea princes can strike seaton <laughs> but the Rat King would like to have you for tea to discuss some of your uh, uh, technology. <sighs> Not saying that has to deliberately be on screen unless people want it, but uh, that is a request. Okay. 
Um, I mean, it's a, a one. I'll share that with everybody. Um, two, um, I will take it as a good sign that Joshua even made it back since he initially said that the Rat King was going to kill him. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, is there anything uh, specifically about Joshua in what uh, is reported, or is that just a topic for this tea? Um, uh, it would appear that any further negotiations on behalf of one of his subjects would have to be discussed in person. Okay. Very well. So I'll share all of that with everybody, and then suggest, yeah, I think, uh, should probably figure out what, uh, what we want to do about Seton, particularly in regards to Kara's Shadowbreaker and, uh, her forces, because, uh, if she's got a large group to take to Seton, then we might not have much time at all. That does sound like we need to have her move her forces there as quickly as possible, although at some point we will have to make an effort to meet with the Duke and sort of try to convince him that... We, we don't want the Brotherhood trying to convince him that Kiara's forces are there aggressively. Make sure he understands that we are there as allies, is all I'm saying. Um, I think you're right that that is something that getting her forces there is something that needs to happen quickly. Well, um, how are you going to get a meeting with the Duke? Good question. That I don't know yet. Yeah, I mean, you probably take lot like, a long time to send a letter, so. True. Although I do have more immediate forms of communication at my disposal, uh, we. Uh, They might be a little startling at first. Um, regardless, it will take time for Kiara's forces to make it all the way to Seton from Burl, so that seems a worthwhile that, that seems worthwhile to have her start. probably too late to cancel some of the or to have cancelled some of the nautical orders that were given to the marines out of salt out of Seton um, but I suppose that is theoretically what our uh, what this 500 or 250 thousand gold is buying us. Okay, well, um, so someone needs to talk to that lady so she can get her people moving, and then, um, I mean, I was good for talking to the Red King as long as I can, um, bring Bethany. Well, uh, I don't know how long it will take to get to the Red King. Uh, it sounds like, uh, there's potential for some more useful information. Joshua, did he uh, send you along with any information about uh, how to get in touch with him or where he's located? I can take you right there. Uh, well, very well. I I would very much like to find out what uh, additional stuff he knows about uh, the Scarlet Brotherhood and Krellick, if you'd like to join me and uh, 
discuss uh, Bethany? Uh, by all means. Um, is we leaving today? Yeah, it's still gonna take a couple days to get to the Dreadwood. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Uh, I suppose I could, uh, see what I could do about getting him to come here. Uh, I think we need to make this happen as quickly as possible, so... Um, okay. Well... I can pull some strings. Um... You could try asking Bishop, if Bishop is still willing to assist us. I know the Rat King is perhaps not his usual uh, clientele. But I mean, taking us to the Rat King, or you, rather, um, to the Rat King might be something he is capable of doing. I'd rather walk, thank you. Uh, Bishop also exclusively serves Shandria. Yeah, also, I don't think they, um, I don't think Bishop would be coming if any of us was asking. Did you, did you get Bishop uh, in trouble? No, um, you know, we's on the outs with Sandria, so, you know, he's like, you know, she's his boss and all that. Wait, why are we on you, the outs you with- You are on the outs, I believe we discussed this. Well, yeah, I just figured that she's probably pissed at all of us, so... Mm. Oh, no, that's a real shame. You don't sound very sad, yeah? I'm not. I was being sarcastic. <laughs> oh. Sarcasm. Right. I mean, we can take the boat, you know? Uh, you know, you and me, your little sailing vacation. Not a working vacation, but yes, I, I, I understand. No! You, you both no, intend to travel. How, how long will it take? Well, it sounds like it's a few days, so... A few days. And a few days in, a few days out. If you take the turtle shell, it might go faster, and Toby and Micah can. Oh, it's still a few days via turtle shell. That's how you guys got there the first time. Yeah, right. Now, I mean, we could, you know, lucky. Uh, you know, I, I know you could probably take us there first too, but you know, I don't want to be rude and just, you know, use not be taxi and all that. Sorry, I had a coughing fit. Who were you talking to? Uh, just telling Lucky, like, she's not my taxi. You know, oh. like, I, I'd ask her, but, you know, I don't expect yeah. her to take me everywhere. Yeah, um, I don't know how conveniently placed me being able to put us, like, right outside Granny Nightshade's lair uh, is, as far as finding this Rat King. Why? You think they got any more, um, um, them Ubexes in a jar in her place? Uh, probably. I mean... I really hope so. Well, he could use a friend. Uh... Mm. And we, we did examine the place rather thoroughly, Krellick. I think if we would have seen another, we would have taken that as well. Yeah, he's probably wrong. <laughs> so, let's, uh, get on the turtle shell, head out, and, uh, Joshua, if it's at all possible when we get there, I don't know how we want to be traveling into the Dreadwood, so, uh, if, uh, if it's possible for the Red King to sort of meet us, uh, along the way somewhere, or just on the edge of the Dreadwood, that would be wonderful. I think I can, uh, get us an escort. Okay, excellent. 
Vic, it sounded like you was a bit interested in directing. Did you want to come too, or you got shit to do here? You know, if you're willing for another person to come along, I'd be more than happy. Of course. More than welcome to join us. Mm -hmm. Well, I was going to say if Toby and Mark is around and see if they don't mind helping out with the sheep. Well, it is Micah's responsibility, so. All right, well, uh, good luck. Enjoy tea. And try, uh. Me? I don't know. Be careful, I guess. It's still the Dreadwood, so. Yeah, so we'll, we'll try and get uh, more information on uh, the Brotherhood's roles and, and hideouts and, and movements and whatnot, and uh, perhaps uh, the Rat King might even have a way for us to uh, get a meeting with the Duke. Um, and if you all could arrange to uh, uh, share this information with uh, Kiero Shadowbreaker and figure out... Uh, what our next move is, uh, you know, with her and her forces when we get to Seton, uh, we'll regroup back here and figure out what we're going to do. Hey, you don't got to worry about us being safe. We got your the cracking killer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Very kind of you, Krennic. Um, oh, it is... Wow. What time is it? I feel like it's pretty late by now. Yeah. Um, do we just want to go see Farron and you guys head out in the morning, or are you planning on heading out immediately? Uh, I looked at you. No, I think uh, we'll meet with Toby and Mike and tell them to have the ship ready for uh, departure first thing in the morning. Okay. Does that work for you, Vicars? No, it does. Wonderful. All right. Anything else then? Uh, you would like? Would you like to go see Farron tonight? Yeah, let's do some moonlight druid stuff. <laughs> I can take that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, is anyone not going to the Sea Grove? Uh, Lauren will not go unless you want me to go. I think I'm just gonna go sleep. Kind of points a thumb up the stairs. Uh, yeah, up to you. I, the Sea Grove is just outside of town, so I don't anticipate this will take long. We will be back. I I like have... that, that's an excellent question. Have we had an opportunity for a long rest yet? Uh, to me, this feels as if this is conversation you're having upon returning home. Okay, Yop's not going anywhere then. Yop's going to bed. Okay. Yop had a rough day. <laughs> <laughs> Does this change anyone else's intention? I mean, I'll still like to go, but I mean, I'll, I'll wait if, like, if you all want to go in the morning, um, you know, you don't want to miss out on seeing Farron, then I think waiting is all right. Okay, just send him my best. Oh, in mm -hmm. here, and I'll package up a little bit of the um, hallucinatory tea from. Uh, Astra's Alia, and... Now, yeah, give him this as a gift for me. Oh, is that the one I shouldn't touch? Oh, you know, you can touch it. Just be careful if you drink the tea. It, uh, quite powerful psychedelic. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll lean to Vicar. What's the soccer daddy? <laughs> uh, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> New book added to Krellick's dictionary. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, any NPCs you request to go with you, or are we watching you all roll survival checks? I was gonna see if Lucky would guide us one more time, but, you know, she's tired. <laughs> um, hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'll come. Is she doing the uh, the survival checks? She's the cartographer. 
Okay, she gets inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> can can I um s uh, assist her then? I'm skilled uh -huh. in survival. Mm -hmm. God, she never rolls lower than like a fucking eighteen on this check for some lucky. reason. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, so you all teleport into town, and then walk out of town <laughs> down the road some uh in a cool misty evening with light sprinkling of rain uh to the sea grove a cool and green place that is a uh, not so green now that you are in winter um the branches of the trees kind of rattle in the wind and and the sprinkling rain um and the underbrush is mostly clear, uh, but it still feels very fresh in these woods, uh, quite alive. And Lucky, with the assistance of Krellick, navigates the way to the clearing, uh, the pond and small waterfall, the shrine to Maliki, uh, resting nearby, and a the sound of scurrying, scratching of nails on stone, and then uh, uh, and a little possum uh, in his in his finery, uh, working over some drawn out runes, uh, looking up at the sky, apparently waiting for something in the air. Uh, when you uh, approach. His ears flick in your direction. He says, Oh, good evening. Hi, good to have some company. Uh, a little oddly timed, but um, uh, what is it might I, I be able to help you with? Uh, we uh, just came by. We just got back from uh, business outside of Saltmarsh. We thought we'd simply come by, see how you were doing. Oh, well, uh, the moon is in a good place for me to attempt this ritual again. See if I can possibly uh, work the transmute of magic. We should see, but uh, we're still waiting for it to rise. And given the day, it might take a few more hours. This is to turn you and... Return me to my natural state, yes? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, it's, um, uh, proved to be far too difficult to try to undo the damage that was done, and so, uh, a secondary, should we say, uh, uh, uh again, a uh, transmutation, um, might do the trick. Is, um, is there anything that we can do to help? Oh, um, probably stay out of the way in case uh, you might get a little closer to me than, than uh, my dear familiar might get, and then I might swap minds with you instead. <laughs> That'd be funny. Mm -hmm. uh, he kind of like eyes you up and down, and his tail flicks. <laughs> Imagine me, a little possum. Mm -hmm. Me, a great big thing. Never been that big before. Um, I consider it for a moment. <laughs> um, and uh, I'll just extend my hands with the package that uh, Yop gave me. Um, um, my friend Yop, she um, asked me to give this to you. It's like, um, <gasps> oh, it's silly tea. <laughs> His little paws clap together, and he takes it in his little fingers. Tell her thank you. Now, is there anything I can help you with? You must get back to work. I don't want to miss my opportunity. Uh, no, no. Oh, um, maybe, um, you, you know, uh, you know, he's fitting to, um, go into, like, a real big fight, and, um, uh, I mean, maybe you want to come with, you know? 
Oh, oh no, 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 dear. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm a pacifist. Um, but if you are in need of such assistance, uh, well, perhaps I might be able to prepare something for you that might uh, make you feel fortified enough, uh, strong, um, and enduring. But it, I mean, the materials for it aren't cheap, and I certainly couldn't acquire them myself. Our resource for acquiring materials might have been, um, well, we might not be able to get the things we used to get, uh, such as the items I brought you the last time I was here. Uh, That's a shame. What, what, uh, what sort of things would you need? We, uh, uh a good, salt. sorry, uh, go ahead. A good proper mixing bowl and utensils to cook with. Oh, what we got there at the lot house. Oh, these ones must be very expensive. How? How expensive? I'm not as good with coin as um as you might be, but I, I have heard before when I've offered this charm to others, uh, that it could be, oh, uh, ten hundred gold. Mm -hmm. Ten gold is like a steal. Ten hundred? A, a, a thousand gold, Krellick. Oh, there's more expensive. Especially given what we know with our new ally, but we will see what can be arranged. Would this be, um, uh, for one person, or would it be for like a uh, uh, lots of people? Oh, I could sit at a table of about ten, I believe. Hmm. hmm. I mean, I don't know about the rest of yous, but I got a bit of coin. I have some I can provide for myself, but that would be at all. Would uh, <clears throat> um. Specifically the cost. Um, I guess I'm kind of looking for a breakdown. Don't know that has that changed. Huh? Uh, I was kind of looking down for the breakdown of the cost for these items. What he means. Um, so he's offering to cast Heroes Feast for you. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, and he, he, it, uh, he, he'll need yeah, a, a... Expensive a, material component. Yeah, a, yeah, an expensive material component. Yep. Yeah, I was thinking something else, but nope. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what we got in the hold, V? Uh, we do have a uh, thousand gold. I mean, what you all think? It sounds like a. I mean, is this um, is this deductible? Uh, given we're speaking about preparations for saving Seton, I would think so. I feel like that's a uh, significant blow to headquarters if there is a sudden change of leadership within the capital of this land. Okay. Where do you think that we's going to get something like that? Other than a trip to... I mean, we might be able to get it in Seton, but other than that, it would require a trip to Waterdeep, I would think. Well, maybe was, you know, Yop and I was um, talking to the Red King. You all can take care of that. I will need the funds from the Horde, but uh, if, as long if that's as what we want to do. I'm sorry, as long as what? Uh, as long as everyone sounds off on it. everyone here is signing off but we would need to wait until we had uh, confirmation from Yop and I mean I suppose we could put it to a vote that is a thing that could be done okay we vote in the morning then 
hey, you think what them people in town's got one of these fancy things? Like, what if Prime Water's got one of these mansion? Possible, I suppose. No, we but... do a little kick in the door, little revenge, little fancy bowl. I would think we'd be better off just taking the far more likely chance of finding it in Waterdeep, provided, of course, uh, we could be carried there. And he looks over at Lucky. But... I mean, every time I tell it take us somewhere, remember that's like 50 gold, just... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah it's adding up guys yeah we got plenty of money mm -hmm. well, I'm favorite, I'll, I'd love to see if you know what you's doing here is working I mean you can certainly stay if you'd like Uh, it would be wonderful to see if the efforts have paid off, or if there is something else you require should this not work. <sighs> All right. A few of you... I, I'm so sad now that you're going to have to watch the roll to see whether or not Farron succeeds on this. <sighs> All right. Um, a couple of hours pass, the little the little druid goes about his business continuing his preparations. Um, <laughs> Swarp uh, clamors around, sniffs all of you around the ankles, uh, bites into, uh, into your legs, uh, and then sc scuttles off again. And as the quarter moon begins to pass uh Farron begins his incantations burning his incenses and sages and 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 working his little magics and <laughs> and catching swarp uh around the wrist and holding him close uh there is a hypnotic mist that seems to cover both of their eyes for a moment um and they both suddenly uh, drop and lay still uh and the fires die down and the smoke clears and they lay motionless Uh, can I go over when <laughs> poke him with a stick? <laughs> Which one do you poke? <laughs> Fair. <laughs> oh, the the opossum? Uh, no. What he was supposed to go into? Oh, okay. Uh, the the gnome, the new, the naked gnome stirs, uh, and and sits up and says. Whew. A little uncomfortable. Oh, it's frightfully cold. Oh dear. Oh, oh my word. Oh, it seems to have worked. Well, thank you all. I can I swarp? And he uh, leans over and, and, and wakes the opossum who, who plays dead for a little bit longer, but he tickles his tummy and he, and he writhes awake. Oh, look at the two we use. Thank you for all your help. Uh, as he begins to like unfasten the clothes from the opossum and and uh, fit them onto himself. <laughs> how would you? How was all your teeth? Well, um, not as good as I remember. Not nearly even as good as Swarps. And he like rolls his jaw. Not good at all. No, not good. If you need, like, um, any gold teeth, I know a guy. <laughs> I might have to take you up on that offer. 
Yeah, I think you look real good. He he grins, uh, a very broken grin. <laughs> uh, well, I'm very happy you are back to yourself. I'm very happy that we could help you fix this. Well, thank you again, all of you. It's very much appreciated. And again, if there's anything else I can help you with, uh, so provided materials are offered, I would be happy to do it for you. They're so cool. This has been like magical. Yes! Um, any update on the matter we discussed in private previously? Oh, well, uh, I'm afraid, um, it didn't go as intended. The, um, the individual did not want to be returned. I did send those letters, just in case. Uh, and he actually uh, uh, whispers to the opossum, who scurries off and comes back with a couple of parcels in his hands, or and and uh, hands them to <laughs> uh, hands them to Farron, who passes them on to you, Zashel. Uh, Zashel stares down at them for some time, doesn't not really reading them or looking at them. And then after like a minute or so, I see. Sometimes it is the way. Uh, naturally, some creatures prefer to let the cycle take them. Yes. Thank you for trying. Very, you get you get mail all the way out here. Well, not in the traditional sense. Creatures offer to deliver packages for me. Okay, I'll, I'll, maybe I can teach Rage Fang how to do that. <laughs> Okay, well, um, this has been fun. We will, uh, return if we can find the materials you need for that thing. Good. Of course, yes. Anything I can do to help. Um, I do like a, um, like, cat calling sounds, like, to try to get Swart to come over. Uh, he certainly mm -hmm. does and chomps right into your finger. Oh, cool. I just kind of let him <laughs> chomp on the finger and, like, wiggle it around a little bit. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna miss you, little Swart. <laughs> hey, hey, opossums. Or immune to rabies. That is true. That is true. But the joke was too good. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> <clears throat> I've had it like six times. I've, I, I don't think I can get it again. <laughs> what is that? The gambler's fallacy? <laughs> You guys can return to Salt Marsh. Take your long rest, I presume. Yeah, I'm gonna go through this bundle that I was given. Uh, you have some formal letters from your father. Uh, well, I say letters, plural, but uh, you know, uh, something from your father. Um, a mention that he was going to see if uh, any of your sisters were willing to offer anything uh, in this returning package, uh, which they do. Um, uh, 
one of them has bundled together two hand knit <laughs> and terribly put together pairs of socks. Like they're like they're misshapen. Um uh, with a note that says, I fucking tried, thank you. Um, and, <laughs> the, uh, and the other uh, asks if there is anything that she might be able to do. Uh, she is currently um, uh, working in the Silver Stand. Zashel will fold up the letters and put them presumably with all with, with any other letters he has. I don't. I doubt Zashel throws away letters. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then the socks will. <laughs> he will sit down in his chair and put his socks on. <laughs> yeah, they don't fit very well. <laughs> Uh, and then Zashel is going to go to sleep, like he told Liru he would. Okay. I'm trying to remember if I had a dream I needed to send you. I don't think... I, I will send off... Uh, he will sit down and write in his book and send off the message to Misa that I sent you. Yep. Uh, the return response being the only connection that she can possibly make, um, uh, knowing the Grey Peaks as she does, uh, was possibly, curiously, a descendant of Astraxel Faldalon, but uh, that seems odd considering in her lifetime she never would have seen him uh, leave the... Uh, leave the... Um, the lair. Um, but, admittedly, uh, she was only, um, seven, uh, when he was killed, so. Um, uh, Krillik would like to, when we get back to, uh, Saltmarsh, um, mm -hmm. um, go to the casino, um, mm -hmm. um, and uh, see if I can find Bethany in the uh, cellar no um, uh, to take her back to the lighthouse. So we're going to be all ready in the morning. DC 20 survival check. Hmm. What if I have flavored cheese? Does that does that help me at all? That is the only way you even get to make a check. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you, you can go ahead and take some inspiration. Bardic, specifically. Ooh, all right. I like that. Okay. Then I believe you get to roll up. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm sorry, what, what were you saying? Um, I'm pretty sure you get to roll it twice. Ability check. Uh, yep, the creature can roll the Bardic Inspiration twice and choose which one roll to use. Ooh, okay. And for flavor, the moat pops and emits colorful, harmless sparks for a moment. <laughs> um, uh, so I, I can roll the inspiration die twice. Is that yes? Right? Okay. Okay. I got you. Okay. 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 It's a D10. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. All right. I'm gonna roll two. Uh, two. All right. One D10. Oh. And then another D10. <laughs> so close. Anything anyone would like to do? Just out of curiosity. Oh, fuck, I could have helped him because I'm a jack of all trades. <laughs> anybody that can cast guidance. Take one of those inspiration points. Uh, I, I will take one of your, I will burn one of your inspiration points looking for a rat in, the, in a basement. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Please. No. <laughs> Ah. Of course. Okay. I got six more. Yeah. Oh God, please no. <laughs> no, I, I don't want to. I don't want to burn them. It is delightful that you think me. either the clerics would help with this. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> A nature cleric might help. 
She went to sleep. She went to bed. No, that's yeah. true. That's very true. Yeah. I'm just like rooting around with the stinky cheese and uh, I end up <laughs> eating it all myself. <laughs> <laughs> we find Crow three days later. <laughs> I got lost. <laughs> I forgot my eyes was closed. <laughs> <laughs> I was using That's a sniffer. <laughs> Which is why he ate the cheese. <laughs> Alright, next morning, what's up? Headed to the Dreadwood? Oh yeah. Who's all going? It Kyle. seems like Vicaris, Krellick, Yop, Joshua, uh, Toby, and Micah. Mm -hmm. Anybody else coming? Nah, I got another project to try nope. to work on. Lauren has trauma being in the Dreadfoot and killing people. She doesn't want to go back there. Nothing about her dying, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah, nothing about that. <laughs> Yeah. Listen, she got really angry and hit a cobalt because she was paranoid. She doesn't want to go back there. Well, I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> um, as we're getting all of our stuff, getting ready to go, um, I will, um, uh, uh, on like, you know, we're, we're, I'm, I'm, I'm sure there's like table or countertop mm -hmm. nearby. Um, uh, I'll uh, set a, um, a little leather pouch on the um, countertop and say, Dates for like, um, the bow thing for fairy. What's in there? Uh, 500 gold. Okay. Wait, what, uh, what bow thing for Farron? Uh, Farron has offered to prepare a repast for us that would bolster us for the day that the, uh, the sea princes are attacking. Oh, well, that sounds like a wonderful investment. Uh, how much are we all kicking in? Well, Krellick just paid for half of it, I think. Yeah. I do not have much more. We should have plenty in the board, because uh, we were going to have a... I think plenty is a strong word. Uh, oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Well, I, I think money is a strong word, but, but certainly I'm out. Well, and I'll look in the uh, bag that Krellick left, and after assessing the amount, I will leave the other half. All right. Uh, well, when there is more in the hoard, we will certainly make sure to uh, repay the two of you. This certainly seems like a business expense. Yeah, I don't know why we just don't take from the Horde if we're just going to pay him back. We have enough. Yeah, that was my plan. I figured we would hold a vote. Yeah, I think that's what we decided we would do last yep. night, was hold yep. a vote about it. Yep, he no, actually just... already getting out the pieces of paper. And... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll just figure, you I, know, I... we's all worried about money, and I mean, you know... Uh, I was going to eat. Yeah, we decided we, that we were going to be indebting we, ourselves to a half dragon pirate lord. Wait, did we decide that? It sounded like it. If we wish to save Seton, then that is a necessity. Now, if you would all hand me your votes when you have filled them out. This is for the money, right? Not yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm not. I don't think we're gonna need to actually secretly vote this one because it sounds like everyone's yeah, yeah everybody's good sure. with this yeah. one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm mostly doing it so that I can use my <laughs> inspired decision. Starting at rank three, when a serious franchise vote is taken and the result goes the way I voted, you can inspire the rest of the franchise with nice. a free speech to give him advantage on the next ability check, attack roll, or saving throw in the next hour. Kick ass! I cool. do have to make a DC 15 persuasion check, which I'm sure will only take, like, two inspiration <laughs> to hit. That is perception. And not persuasion. Hey, everybody, remember to do something in the next hour so you don't waste it. <laughs> uh, that'll do it. I'll do. Uh, 
I will also at this point finish off my um, this. Uh, I'm up. <laughs> Help me out. <laughs> uh, Celestial resilient. It's the the temporary hit points. If sure. Can constitute that as a short rest with everybody. Um, that would be. Yeah. Otherwise, again, it's just myself and Lucky. Uh, ten hit points. Uh, it'll be sixteen for myself, and it will be ten for everyone else. Okay. Uh, okay. Not unfortunately. Yeah. Um, I got to figure out which one of you I like the least. And... <laughs> hey, you need to take time for that. <laughs> I mean, historically, <laughs> it's been one person. Um, uh, and wow! I, I historically, last... shit changes. Krellix made some decisions lately. <laughs> yeah, that's true. true. But <laughs> they've been—they have been decisions, and I feel like he would respect that. <laughs> um. <laughs> He's not um, an order cleric. <laughs> um, bef- uh, uh, last last week we did um, uh, trade some items. I just want to make sure um, uh, that Lauren has that amulet. The I amulet thought we gave it to Yup. Did we give it to Yup? I gave it to I, I gave so. it away. Yeah, um, and I thought it would be better on Yup because Yup's more yeah. friendly. And there, there also Yup has more attunement slots. Yep. Yeah. Cool. 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 Okay. Uh, any other pre-departure preparation? Ooh, love that. Um, yeah. Uh, Yop will consume actually a different mutagen this Holy morning. Holy shit! Ooh, yeah. And how's that taste? Tastes like victory. Um, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and Yap is looking particularly lovely this morning. <laughs> oh, Lord! <laughs> oh, how delightful. Disadvantage on initiative oh, rolls. Too sexy to move fast. I'm with you. Okay. Mm. All right. <laughs> you, you, you do something different with your shell. Oh, well, you know, a girl never tells. Oh, Wozwe, Wozwe's gone. Um, don't forget to um, uh, uh, say hi to little Spark every now and then. Do what? Oh God! You know, <laughs> the 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 light in the lighthouse. You don't have to go oh, right, inside. Right, There's right, like right. I built like a little ladder to get up there. It's like a few handholds. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, no, that's definitely yeah. something that someone could do. Yeah, they love the company. Um, all they ever say is, I- I'm going to kill you and all that, mm-hmm. but um, I-, I know that they like, you know, hearing what's going on around town. Right. I will safely come back quickly. While well, they're gone, what's happening in town with the rest of the franchise? I got a project I'm probably going to need to work with Abernathy on. Sick. Oh, I don't know if you've told me about this. What's going I have on? Not, because I just thought Sick. of it. Sick! I love this! Uh, the project is basically I know the language of headquarters and documency. I need to try to justify headquarters putting money into the effort towards. Uh, stabilizing the region like i need to convince them to try to give us some money to give to this captain because their business interests lie in keeping this region region secure they stand to make more money that way fascinating yes lots of paperwork many days this is in fact going to be a skill uh that abernathy is capable of giving you advantage on that's kind of what I figured. Yeah. Uh, it will be a persuasion roll. Because yeah. the thing is, your, like, your calligraphy, phenomenal. Mm-hmm. But you can't, you can't distract the other documancers 
with your uh with your pretty script. <laughs> <sighs> You know what? I think, like, yeah, probably for, like, there's, like, two days of Noel, like, compiling all the information. Uh, and then Noel having to concede and go find Zashel. And say, like, <laughs> essentially, Noel was like, I have perfected the details, but not the argument. The argument for and Zashel will quickly read through whatever yeah it's probably a lot of really dry like financial stuff like you know basically the all of the proof that is required to prove that like you know headquarters should give a shit about the region they should give a shit about what we're doing and they should uh, give money towards the effort mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but it um... lacks a lawyer's touch the best part is that they don't have to commit any particular number right now, just commit to the idea of doing so, since we have a ceiling on the amount of investment, but uh, because we are unsure of how much will be actually seized, and thus counting towards this... Uh, defense fund shall we say uh we we really are just asking for a uh, decision to commit rather than an actual commitment of funds the uh, a, a sort of uh, what is that word uh, a, a, my brain is shot promise to pay type of thing instead of uh, an, an actual solid amount. An agreement in understanding more than a uh, an actual disbursement of funds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, as you're talking, Nola's feverishly writing. Uh, he stops uh, and then, like, hands a blank page and says... I need a moment of your, well, more than a few moments of your time, then. This is best written by you. I think I remember well enough my documents or rules. Let's see what I can, let's see what I can come up with here. I will give you guidance on whatever check. I assume Abernathy is probably just sleeping at the table. <laughs> No, Aber this this is what Abernathy uh, is designed yeah, to Abernathy's do. Abernathy's in. This is yeah, he's here. Yeah. Job. He's he's offering his own advice. He's offer like he's he's able to negotiate based on his past experiences. Like, mm -hmm. oh, don't phrase it this way. I've seen how they da 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 da. -da. <laughs> yeah, I feel like definitely Noel just makes it too dry and realizes like this isn't gonna sway headquarters. Yeah. Um. One of the special. things. One of the things that Abernathy is designed to do is requisition on behalf of the franchise. This is something yeah. he's incredibly capable of doing. Okay. Uh, not so good as Zashel, though, because his stats aren't that great. But yeah. he can offer assistance. Um, that being said, Zashel, you have a persuasion role at advantage with guidance. Okay. 21. Roll a 4 and a 9. Uh, okay, because this is going to take a few days for you to, li li like, this might take a day or two for you guys to put together. It can mm -hmm. be immediately delivered via um, uh, uh, the yeah. magic drawer, um, but that does mean there's like a day or two where it's processed, and then a return that says uh, we can agree to a percentage, a set percentage. So you guys need to decide what you think, what percentage you want headquarters, head office, to commit to. And then we have another check. So out of character, what do we think we could convince them of? Like 20%? I was thinking 20% also. That's I mean, still yeah, that's gold pieces. That's a lot of money. Like at yeah. most 50,000 gold pieces. Assuming It'll... he somehow seizes 
no plunder and we yeah. can talk uh, the duke or the king out of no you know donation like I think 20% is a decent starting and if they won't do 20% then trying to negotiate to 15% is still quite a lot of money mm-hmm, mm-hmm. of the total because it means we're on the hook for the remainder Yep. Which, you know, is a huge setback, but isn't, like, indentured servitude. Yep. <laughs> At least for the rest of you. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody you who's trusting the real strong opinions about indentured servitude, so Noel's trying to help. So, yeah, I guess, I, I guess we go 20%. Okay, roll another persuasion okay. check. Solid advantage. Mm-hmm. Oh God, I am going. To... Use. Yeah, I will Jesus. use an inspiration. I rolled yep. forty twenty. Haven't beaten a nine. Yeah, we might need help. Uh, I'm going to turn off. The... Mm-hmm. Well, I'll leave the guidance. Should I leave the guidance on? Does it uh, it'll it'll be a four. Yeah, I'll turn the guidance on. Yeah, I I try very hard to let. It sometimes gets a little uh, away, but anytime you guys roll guidance with advantage, I try to oh go with the first Another two. I will use the second point of inspiration. Jesus. Oh my god! Hey, yeah. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and roll one more. <laughs> okay, oh, wow. There we go. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> So 33. 33, yeah. 25%. I was going to say. Looking at my D20 rolls, that is a 1, a 3, a 2, a 3. That is nonsense. They'll offer 25%. Fuck yeah. I feel like when it happens, like, Zashel and all just fist pumping, like, (laughs) high-fiving Abernathy. I feel like a lot of this is them just like they come back and lowball us, and Zashel just stutters. <laughs> like ten percent, but what? Come on now! <laughs> <laughs> or his decorum actually breaks. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, there's <laughs> extra like two days to this. That's just rapid fire, like back and forth bickering through Noel Satchel, <laughs> so it's faster. I'm just getting fucking sticky notes sent to me, like not even close, scrub. <laughs> That's how head office communicates through my documents or such. I think yeah. helpful sticky notes. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep sending back. Nah, scrub. Try again. <laughs> yeah, twenty five percent. Sick. Yep. All Write right. That, down. that was my good idea. I got nothing else for what to do in town <laughs> for prep. Oh boy. <laughs> you guys How satisfying is that for Zashel on a scale of 1 to 10? Uh, on a 1 to 10, that was, that was probably a 9. Yeah. That, that, yeah. Was, that was. Pr- dust, dust off the old skills and crush it in the end. <laughs> it, it did feel good, like you sitting there, like eyeballing the documenter uh-huh. case. Like, I remember that thing. The good old days. I took mine away. Now I got this stupid coin that doesn't do a fucking thing. <laughs> <I> eat it. <laughs> Teamwork. I gave a guidance that wasn't required. I don't know. I mean, it did. It did. It, it made it a thirty. Help with the first. Yeah, one, in yeah. both cases, it pushed it over like a five threshold, from an eighteen to a twenty-one, and then from a twenty-nine to a thirty-three. So. Yep. Okay. Uh, All right, gang. Uh, let's see. Who else is in town? Lauren, what are you up to? Um, uh, I don't know what she'd be up to. She just didn't want to go to the Dredgewood after the last time. <laughs> she vegging out. It's fair. I guess uh, helping Lucky at the tavern. I don't think no. <laughs> yeah, I don't think there's anything in town she could do. Okay. So, yeah. All right. And is Ashel anything else you're doing? Uh, one of the nights, probably after this agreement with head office has been worked out, <sighs> uh, 
uh, Zashel will, uh, instead of sitting in his chair, he goes into his room, he, he sets everything in its place before he sits down on the edge of his bed <laughs> and uh, takes, takes a deep breath and he is going to cast Dream. Oh. Mm -hmm. It takes him a minute as he kind of sits there and, and he doesn't really count sheep so much as he sort of draws one, two, three sheep on a little piece of parchment and at the bottom he writes down Bernadette Krell. <laughs> what dream do you give her? had a horrifying visage of, like, Matrix white space. <laughs> uh, no, this this needs to be plen somewhat, like, <clears throat> pleasant at the very least. <laughs> uh, and so he, we have met with Bernadette Krowl in her... We've met her on the decoy, um... While he has never been in the captain's quarters of that, he does sort of remember the way the captain's quarters of um, uh, 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 Goldier's ship look. So he, he creates something similar. Not quite the same, but like a big wooden table bolted to the deck with, you know, bolted chairs at either end because it's a ship. You don't want regular chairs just going all over the place. <laughs> uh, and at some point, he is there in his suit. She is on in the other on the at the other end of the table. Uh, I thought we should. Speak in private. This was uh, this was the safest and fastest way. I do hope you will forgive the intrusion into your mind. I am trying to understand a few things, and I figured if you were at sea, it would be difficult to entrust this sort of conversation to a messenger. We have met several times before. I don't know that you'd have any reason to really remember. Hard to forget a face like that. Ah. You do remember that. Enough. <laughs> we have... We have, at the... Lighthouse franchise is sort of, well, to be honest, sort of stumbled into the plans that are underway. And there are a few things that I do not understand. And so with, if, if you are willing to answer a few questions, this may... This may help my franchise clear up a few misunderstandings within Salt Marsh and elsewhere. The... What sort of misunderstandings? We have, in the past, crossed ways and crossed intents with... <laughs> crossed intents with our latest councilman, Scarin Wave Chaser, who I understand to be a player within your organization, this Scarlet Brotherhood. She begins making herself very comfortable in the chair and leaning back, crossing her arms. We perhaps have somewhat of a misunderstanding of the organization's structure and intentions. 
Everything we can find suggests that this organization suggests and strives for human supremacy, for the rule of a certain amount of chaos over order, but I find that somewhat at odds with the structure and organization that you currently find yourself part of, and which seems to be providing much of the strength for the Brotherhood's activities. For instance, if you are a believer in the supremacy of human kind <laughs> over non-human races, I am somewhat forced to wonder at your I don't know, concern for your non-human crew members, for your willingness to adopt a non-human child, for the company within the princes. There are certainly plenty, it would seem, non-human pirates. Have we misunderstood, perhaps, the Brotherhood's stance on humankind. I think you might be misunderstanding more than just the stance. <clears throat> Lucky was born to human parents. She is human with a blessing of the mighty storm. Lucky is more Besides that, she was my lover's daughter, and I would do anything to hold what is left of her. You keep that back behind your forked tongue. I see. And then, with regard to the rest of the non-human pirates? My company is select. <laughs> what exactly is the end goal of your organization? We at Acquisitions Incorporated do not specifically tie ourselves to any particular monarch, deity, ruler, anything like that. We are, of course, more than willing to do business with changed regimes. Certainly there are other places we do business where that is, in fact, a commonality, but there is, of course, the requirement to do business if the end goal of the Brotherhood is incompatible with that. That would be a concern of ours. The Council of Saltmarsh has been making some questionable decisions in their allies, sending aid to those lizard folk and seeking to make pact with the elves in the Silver Stand, even communing so far as the treants in the Drowned Forest. Seton remains a station that has been held and founded by my kind for generations, and I intend to ensure that its bonds remain clear. And insofar as business partners, this does not seem to be a concern then. You have no issues with other operations, simply not the running or day-to-day -day of this 
the kingdom. Although I must say the the recent changes to Salt Marsh's relations with its neighbors, notwithstanding, the princes have been at odds with Thetan for considerably longer than Salt Marsh has softened its negotiations. If recent events are merely the trigger for your current plans, that doesn't then explain the years of actions against King Scotty. Scotty. What did we decide that was? <laughs> uh, well, yeah. now you fucked me up. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was Cody. Yeah. It has been a long standing pact, the Wild Flame Pact. And since its script, members of my people have hoped to find ways to undo it. But there's a fragility to it, a delicacy that some of us are perhaps not particularly well suited for. But clever folks like Skarin they take time, take a proper learning, study. As she looks you up and down. So you would go back to war with the elves and the Eladrin. You are aware that the bridge is no longer warded. I am now. So the near loss of Salt Marsh last time. You are not concerned that that might be the outcome again? The members of our number have grown since then. We've met a few of the princes now. And it seems that the reverence that we both hold does not hold true for many of the others when it comes to your child. In fact, many some that we have seen treat her as an object, a charm. How is it then that How does that alliance stand on that? Give me their names and I'll see them dead. As much as I would... In... If we were to stand against you, as much as the 
infighting would serve our purpose. I don't think that that is... I think she would be... Well, I may still do that. I suppose, then, that there is no convincing you that this plan of yours is folly, that the efforts that we have stumbled upon, the things that we know, admittedly, I'm sure you could tell me things that I don't know about this plan. She As you... looks at you again and sits forward, putting her hands flat on the table. What are you going to do? Charm me? Force me? I thought I might point out that in the time that you have, as you said, grown your numbers, Saltmarsh and Seton, too, have grown their allies, the forces you mentioned, others, perhaps. There has been work by other parties within the area of Keolan to strengthen the bond between not just Salt Marsh and its neighbors, but all of the area. This could get far bloodier than you anticipate. I would. I thank you for the warning, Snake. If you wouldn't mind, I'd like to be getting back to resting. Uh, Zashua will stand up and sort of dust himself off, although there is no dust, it's a dream. This place is completely despite looking like the inside of a ship, it is completely stationary. Of course, I can return you to sleep. I... Well, I do hope you will at least consider the things that we have discussed. There is... There is always time to change your mind. This conflict we are inevitably drawn to, this battle between the princes and Yoland and its allies, even if you win what then what will will the princes give up their their ways because they suddenly you, you still won't rule the seas there are other creatures in the waters even as beaten back as they are the Saharagan will be ever present Is the price you will pay worth the practically nothing you will gain? Good night. And I will end the spell. Great. And we'll take our 10 minute break. Be back at the top of the hour. Guys, I don't like playing racists. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and real quick roll my 1d hundreds. Um, yeah. I enjoy it. <laughs> uh, how oh, many are you rolling and how many should I? Oh. I'm total of five. Five d one hundred. Okay. Nope. You get the evening shift. 
Right. <laughs> nope. 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 <laughs> no, this guy is fucked. We can't fix it. Man, that, though. There's like some really high rolls in here. Yeah. If only we're kind of roll from like 90 yeah. to 100. Like, whatever curse is on him. Go ahead. I was just going to say, at some point, we could consider taking him to, like, a priest of Lathander who might, yeah. you know. Or. Wow. <laughs> That's like we a whole like trip out of town. Now. Yeah, the Dawn Lord can eat shorts. I don't need him. Or we could just give him to me and I can take him to the Feywild. <laughs> that sounds. That I don't know. That doesn't sound good for. Yeah, I don't. For... It's Bandit. like the ultimate trinket, guys. <laughs> yeah, but he's gonna live in a bag. Like what? Yeah. That, that, what does the inside of a soul? What yeah, does the inside of a bag of holding over there? Like? <laughs> what? What does the inside of a bag of holding that you're gonna leave it? Oh, in? Oh, like, I got a map. I got a map for that, Cody. Okay, <laughs> sick. <laughs> like, yeah. It's it's dry. I know that. <laughs> so that's good. The map is actually truly incredible, um, and if I were not trying to uh, visect my Roomba currently, I'd definitely find mm -hmm. it for you. Oh, your Scoot Scoot's <laughs> acting up again. Uh, she got full. To, she got full of wet gunk somehow. I don't uh... know how, but uh, she ain't. She ain't been doing her job. So. Yeah, she's putting on airs. Yeah. Oh my God! There we go. Our Scoot Scoot just either gets, like, completely full of goddamn hair from yep. just every animal, or Jess's hair, like, destroys Scoot Scoot. Oh, God. See, that's, this is literally why I got a Roomba, was because I had a cat, yeah. and, like, I got fucking sick. Mm -hmm. I got fucking sick of it. Uh, and so... I was like, I'm tired of vacuuming. Well, I also had a toddler as well. I was like, I'm tired of vacuuming mm -hmm. every single day. I'm getting a robot that does that for me instead. Yep. Uh, and that was the right choice. Mm -hmm. Like, Jess's hair is really, really long. So, like, yeah. when it gets sucked up in Scoot Scoot, it just gets, like, looped multiple times around things. Oh, yeah. Like, that's, that's why we can't have a room burn. We bought one and then we had to return it because all our hairs are too long and keeps getting caught and we're just like <laughs> oh, what's gosh. the point it's yeah. just because that's what it's for is, yeah. to, I know. is to pick that it shit up really and bad with long hair though but like, it's yeah. bad when it's like four yeah. females with long hair yeah. oh yes yeah. it's, it's basically you're basically just gonna make a series of like like razor wire for it to roll over yeah. like yeah. it sucks it up and just gets like i don't know how the like mechanism doesn't like break the hair but it sure as fuck doesn't no just it's loops just cause it. it's a little guy just yeah, a little that, little, that little thing's tube still moving pretty fast in there time for a new filter I guess hair is stronger than like we give it credit for that is true hair is pretty tough like the fact that it's easier to pull a hair out of, by the root than it is to rip a hair with your hands. Yeah. Like. I was gonna make some joke about like speak for yourself because I have uh, damaged hair, but like it wouldn't have really played with this audience, I don't think. Yeah, it wouldn't land it. Exactly. My hair is just like really thick. Yeah, you got you. You got like thick man hair. Yeah. Like, like there's something like like dudes with it's like coarse. dark hair that's coarse. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. Coarse. Every like four weeks when I go in and get a haircut, there's just like a pile of hair underneath me. Yeah. Well, that's also because that uh, four weeks is a lot of hair growth. It I, admittedly is for even for a normal. Yeah. Yeah. Like I. I've been like, oh, fuck, I need a haircut. Like, I had it cut down to a two, and it's already, like, finger length again. And I was like, oh. when did I last get a haircut? And it was, like, three weeks ago. I usually get Jesus. a three. Jesus. Yeah. Three, three on the size, and then and then you just blend it. <laughs> yeah. No. I'm impressed that you know the words. Uh-huh. It's I just haven't... the same one. Yeah. Time. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, that's the easy one, and mm -hmm. those are usually the ones that dudes tend to know, but, like... The it, cheers, it, sometimes. Yes, yeah. like, not every not every guy bothers to learn anything besides just clean it up a bit. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> what were you saying, Monkey? You guys make me want to go get a haircut. I haven't gotten one since pre-COVID. Yeah, you're good. Oh, God. Um, Listen, I had my hair shaved, and then it grew out, and I was like, I'm going to go get it last March. And then COVID hit, and I'm like, well, I guess I'm growing it out. Yeah. So now it's fully grown out. I loved your undercut shit. It looked so sh it looked so sharp, dude. One day I'll go back to the barber shop. One day. Yeah. I did grow out my hair pretty much pretty well actually during COVID because I was able to shave parts of it myself and it got pretty long but I do hate it I do hate it long <laughs> I like realized relatively recently that like hair on the back of my neck is like a dysphoric trigger and now it's like oh well now I know why I hate that so much. <laughs> <clears throat> you good, Doug? Oh, yeah. Just clearing my throat. Okay. That sounded like a... Pay attention to me, please. <laughs> wow. wow. <laughs> I am not about Is that a business. Doug thing and not just a Vakaris thing? I thought that was just a <laughs> thing. Okay. Well. <laughs> oh no! I'm sorry. <laughs> Can you imagine if I was like, <laughs> <laughs> like this is the straw. <laughs> <laughs> like of all the other shit that has happened, monkey commenting that she thought that this was just a character choice. <laughs> just like <laughs> I'm glad here. I'm here to entertain. Yeah. Thanks.
All right, Adam, you here? I am. Okay, Cody. Cody. Doug. Fun prank on me to quit at halftime. Uh. It's because I upset him. <laughs> uh, Sean, you here? Yeah. Uh, I'm here. Yeah. Think okay. about quitting. Oh damn. <laughs> This far in. <laughs> yeah, um, I just don't like the way you play racist. <laughs> <laughs> you just look. You just always play. <laughs> Is anybody other than me reconsidering our choices about helping a racist kill Captain Zentros? <laughs> Is, that just, Is that just me? No, I mean, I thought it was a bad idea the whole time, but we still did it because we had to to save Salt Marsh. Oh, yeah, it's uh, it still feels bad. It just makes it feel worse, you're right. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know that this is Yop, but definitely Adam is like, oh, like Salt Marsh can burn if I can piss off one racist? Oh, hell yeah. I'm just thinking, like, if if we had... Not, not that it would have been easy or fun or good for the franchise at the time, like, dealt with her then. Well, this whole situation would be a lot less, uh... Mm -mm. <laughs> you know. But it Zany... would be a lot less what it is. <laughs> Zanny had to go. <laughs> I'm back. Great. Uh, okay, so into the Dreadwood, <laughs> you have your little crew that pilots your uh, your odd little craft down the Kingfisher River and towards the forest. Anything you'd like to make note of doing prior to your arrival in the couple of days of trip travel? Um. I will be focusing on my alluring mutagen, figuring that we have a social encounter coming up. But other than that, I got nothing. Mm -hmm. um, as Yop is uh, very alluring throughout the day, um, uh, I, I pay her many compliments. Um, <laughs> uh, do we have like um? Do we, I mean, I know I could get in the water and try to get a fish. Um, but uh, do we have like fishing equipment on the boat? No, you are not a shipping. You're not a fishing vessel. We don't have fishing rods. You could have acquired some, but they are not like a, a standard kit for the uh, for this vessel. No. Yeah. yeah. You could. Um, you can fish at this time. Yeah, I, I would just like. Uh, well, just, like my physicality is that i could catch fish <laughs> for yes. sure right yes. um um uh, I, I would like to like um uh try to catch like big fish and present them to yafa's presence <laughs> uh every, each day yeah by day three yap is like what what is this guy doing <laughs> No, that's very nice, Kralik. Lovely. It's just <laughs> as lovely as the last three or four that you've got. Very, very nice. Yeah, yeah. This one's red, though. So, you know, it's like red, like my, my patient for you. Mm. Oh, well, that's uh, interesting poetry you've chosen to invoke. Yeah, yeah. I, you just got to be like... I don't know, there's just something about you the last couple of days. Well, it's not a secret, Craddock. Um, you've seen me drink the mutagen that makes me smarter. Uh, but this one makes me a little bit easier on the eye. Well, you don't need no... You don't need no tigens for that. <laughs> I was like, what is he gonna say? <laughs> Uh, 
awfully sweet of you, Credit. Oh, this is... Let's do something with this fish before it starts to smell. And you are... <laughs> and uh, you cross into the Dreadwood. Some of the white mist seems to have thinned some. Uh, it only just grasps at the drying trees of the fo of the winter forest. Um, it is uh, an odd sight where you can hear it was loud before. You felt as if there was always something nearby, but now it feels as if there is distraction everywhere. You see wild flares of magic and ex and brief explosions and intense surges in the distance. There is conflict within the forest now that Nightshade has been destroyed. But this is um, not anything that interferes with you in any way. The underbrush still uh, thorny barbs uh, rustles as you walk all around you as if there is some field of some kind that is around you and preventing anything from approaching you and eventually Joshua uh, leading the way takes you to what appears to be a, a hole in the ground Who's this? Uh, King's Lair. How big is this hole? It would appear to be about 15 feet wide. And just goes down. Uh, we just jump. He's in it. Well, I wouldn't do that. You might break your legs. <laughs> you might break your legs. Okay, then, Mr. Big Shaw, why don't you jump down the hole? I jumped down the hole. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, cool. Um, take 12 points of bludgeoning damage. <laughs> As you what? all hear a very loud thud and crack uh, from above. <laughs> or from below. I'm all right. The ground broke my fault. <laughs> Did you break your legs? No. No, right there, and no look to Josh. <laughs> v, jump, I'll catch you. Uh... <laughs> Come on, just like we practiced. I don't remember that. Uh, we, we did practice a lot. I, I don't remember that ever really being a part of it. Well, all right, we're practicing now. <laughs> Um, Joshua it, turns uh, into a rat and scurries down the uh, the wall. <laughs> oh, you're kind of a bitch. <laughs> they're way down outside of jumping. You guys are the level fucking whatever casters. <laughs> Alright. Uh, <laughs> hold an arm out to yap. <laughs> okay. Um, and we can see him down there, right? No. Oh, fuck. Can, with Dimension Door, I guess? <laughs> yes. Tight. Dimension Door next to Krellick's voice. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I think because you heard him. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, you have a pretty, not a perfect idea, and there is still, like, a drop, because you're, like, better safe than sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah. But n nothing to cause the two of you damage. Um, you see above you there is blackness, a magical darkness uh, that impedes the sun, and you feel you are in a wet cavern that oddly feels under your feet as if it is bricked and cobbled. You hear the sounds of running water. Joshua! Joshua! Ah, yes! Uh, you yeah. you can feel him nearby. <laughs> it is very dark in here. Uh, dark vision is almost useless. Okay, well. 
Joshua, next time, uh, a little warning that we would have had uh, this sort of drop would have been nice so that we could have properly prepared, but that's, uh, uh, that's for next time. Is there anything we should know about what's coming up ahead? It's okay. It's okay, Joshua. It's okay. Uh, 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 best advice I can offer is that it's true to refuse a meal. I mean, that's great. I'm, I'm, very, I'm, I could eat. Yeah, you probably could. Anyway, follow me. And you hear him walk into the darkness. You little, uh, clawed rat feet, uh, clattering on the stone. Um, I'll, um, uh, uh, I'll give a squeeze to the drift globe, um, to have that, uh, light up the area a little bit. Uh, it illuminates some, but not as bright as you'd like. Uh, you yeah. see that the, uh, the the bricked walls are dripping with kind of a greenish water. And a little ways away, there is certainly what would appear to be a stream. Um, but it almost is structured like a sewer. As if you guys are walking on the, uh, the, uh, the, path, the inner pathways. Uh, what's it smell like? Not good. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, say Joshua, about uh, how far out would you say we are? Uh, a couple minutes. Uh, in that case, I will cast Sea Invisibility on myself. Interesting. Now, that doesn't do anything except let you see into the ethereal plane and see invisibility. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um,. You can see, and not because of this, but I, I guess everyone can see, mm -hmm. um, the corners, uh, like, like this, this, this tunnel is round, uh, and then the ground you are walking on is, is flat, it, like, you are in a semicircular sewer, uh, mm -hmm. and, uh, in the corners between the walls and the floor, there are a lot of rats mm -hmm. coming and going. Uh, through the cracks, um, always raining on the f on the ground, but there's a whole lot of rats. Yeah. I'm I'm like uh, although I ha I have not cast speak with animal, I am like as well. Like, oh, excuse me, poor to me. <laughs> hey, which way you going? Yeah, <laughs> you get bitten a few times. <laughs> <laughs> Joshua leads you down into the tunnel, and the farther you go, the more immeasurable the odor. Um, the <laughs> it is unmistakably a sewer, and the and as you walk, there are branching tunnels that seem to stretch on and on and on, and the water flows this way and that, and there are small bridges to be crossed. Um, but eventually, uh, you are brought into what looks to be a wide chamber that has glowing green candles set upon a very long table. <laughs> that is laden with food that looks like that it has probably been there for weeks. That has been partially devoured and left to sit and gather moisture and be feasted upon by the swarming rats that writhe over the entire surface of it. And sitting in the center of this long table, like, like at the center seat of this long table, there is a fellow who looks like he's probably four feet tall, um, with, uh, with hair that looks like he probably cut it himself, a paper crown, jauntily placed upon his head a uh, sharp smile beady eyes hairy fingers and a nose that doesn't so stop twitching welcome please have a seat and the chairs on the other side of the table to uh, facing you uh, pull apart pushed apart by the squeaking little rats who are serving Uh, 
Uh, Yapo, have a seat. I understand you to be the genius behind many clever inventions. Yeah, well, the genius is an awfully strong word and very kind of you to use it to describe me, but thank you very much. I understand uh, you are the one who sent uh, Joshua to follow us. Mm, that would be correct. I have been attempting to get into the inner workings and understandings and machinations of Acquisitions Incorporated now for some generations with little success. But you have set up a fine establishment quite near my current res res place of residence. I thank you for it. Oh, well, you're very welcome. Um, I'm not sure why you've had such difficulty determining uh, the inner workings of uh, the, an Acquisitions Inc. franchise. I, our franchise, for example, where there's a um, recordings are made available to the public of all our inner workings. It seems like you should be able to follow them rather easily. You'd think so. But, unfortunately, as clever listeners as I am the master of, that dark magic fellow, he knows me and doesn't like me. Mm. What, what doesn't he like you? Probably something against my nature. Mm. Well, because you use a rat person. How dare you! So, uh, are you not a rat person? I, I am more than a person. I'm sorry. I am the best, the greatest of Rodentia. Commander of all of these tiny mammals on this plane and in others. I know everything I wish to know. I have acute senses, and I can hear everything ever whispered in every dark corner of this world. I am more than a rat man. Well, I obviously use a rat king. Quite right! And he slams his hand on the table. No, I, I almost forgot. Uh... I brought a little gift for you, and I will hand him some of the uh, tea leaves, the psychedelic tea leaves. He's, his hands immediately begin reaching for it and then freeze, and he curls his fingers back and looks at you. Uh, you remember, this is an archfey. Oh, you're... Not interested in my gift, I see. Quite no, no, no! I didn't, I didn't say that. This is a generous offering. I merely wish to know what it is you ask for in exchange, as we have already established one form of trade. Oh well. I'm just hoping to establish some goodwill on your part. Then you shall have it! Uh, and he snatches the uh, package and then almost plastered to his face and uh, like pulled like wires, he begins grinning at you. Wonderful. I understand you uh, have some interest in uh, some of my experimentations in devices. Yes, you work in blood magic. Yes, that I do. would quite like to be able to trade some information for information. <clears throat> well, that sounds reasonable to me. Uh, I, I don't know how you want to do this. I don't know if we need to RP each exchange of information, but no. um, yeah, I, I mean, uh, uh, I'm willing to tell this guy whatever he wants about blood magic. All right, excellent. That's what I was getting. Yeah, like like you tell me what your cap is, uh, and and sounds good. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah. No, I, I don't care. Long story short, even though <laughs> Yop has lost uh, the favor of Gond, she still, you know, is an adherent, and bringing new shit into the world is what she's all about. So sharing that information with people fits right in with that. So yeah, whatever uh, Mr. Rat King wants to know. All right, excellent. Uh, then you you willingly provide, and then he uh, completes his half of the bargain, uh, listing and procuring and, and, and giving information to Joshua as necessary, anything that he has withheld so far. What anything specific have I not mentioned that you are looking for? Um... I think... The only thing that um, we know the Rat King is aware of that um, we don't know where they are specifically, or I'm not sure if we know where they are specifically, is uh, there are Scarlet Brotherhood hideouts mm -hmm. that the Rat King's aware of, and knowing uh, the location of those and um, how heavily fortified uh, those things are uh, would be nice. Um, and I mean, I, I, I don't think, you know, yeah. unless you've got that information on hand, I don't think we need to know it specifically right now. Just saying, oh, we know that and we can figure out whether or not we need to hit any of those, uh, would be helpful. Mm -hmm. Uh, yes. Yeah. I don't like nothing, nothing specific that needs to be written down information that is given to you. Okay. Um, uh, and then he says, now, you also spoke of negotiating for my dear little Joshua. And he reaches forward and grabs one of the rats, and you realize Joshua is no longer standing beside you. And he begins petting this little rat's head. Yes, well, it seems uh, his job is done. His job with you is done. Mm-hmm. I still might make use of these cute little ears. Well, and as it turns out, uh, not bad in the forge, not bad at all. So, uh, you know, I, I guess I could make use of uh, those uh, delicate hands as well. So I understand uh, there's some arrangement or he's indebted to you. All creatures, such as Joshua here, by their nature, are my servants. Just as this one, uh, and he gestures to Vicaris. I can know it. <laughs> is by his nature entirely indebted and owned by Titania. But I would be willing to part with him. With Joshua. Vicaris. By all means, get him out of my sight. Uh. <laughs> Listen. Your folk have not necessarily taken kindly to any of the Beast Lords at any century. Me, least of all. I appreciate you bowing yourself to come see me in my home. Oh, it's rather unfair to use my <clears throat> the, your treatment from my people in the past against me. I, I'm just meeting you for the first time. Are you? You of reincarnated nature? To, to my current knowledge and my current state. Mm. But you can't make that promise, can you? I mean, I need more time to go through my previous memories. Regardless. <laughs> you are John. correct, yes. Regardless. I might be willing to offer Joshua his ability to serve you as you see fit. In exchange for something that you find as valuable as his servitude. Well, I, I don't know if I find it uh, 
as valuable as his servitude, but uh, perhaps you would find it more valuable than the service he currently provides to you. As you've already mentioned, you have great interest in the inner workings of Acquisition Inc. Perhaps I could share more of that information. Keep more of an ear out and uh, get you some of that inside information that you're so hungering for. His beady eyes sparkle. Could you make me a persuasion check? I can. <laughs> uh, way to go, mutagen. <laughs> uh, oh, where is it? There it is. Keeping it? Yep. All right. By what facility might you be able to pri provide me consistent information? Oh, well, I'm not sure the question you're asking. You're asking how am I going to get you the information or how am I going to obtain the information? Yes, yes. How would you give it to me? Oh, well, there's any number of ways. Uh, the easiest is simply to put the information in the recordings that uh, we make with this whisper jar. And uh, all you have to do is listen. And furthermore, no one could make any claim that I was feeding you any special insight. It would just be going out to everyone. You'd stay perfectly safe and out of uh, dark magic suspicion. On one condition. Hmm. You find out more about the bureaucratic nature of this place, and more about dark magic. You tell me, you whisper these things into these re recordings, yes? And then, yes, yes, we will have a deal. Well... It sounds like we are in agreement, except for the order of things. And I think Joshua will be returning with us. And uh, you will hear, starting with uh, uh, the next recordings, you will begin to hear the uh, fruits of this particular deal that we have made. Yes. But that is, uh, so we are in agreement then? Yes, 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 yes. Wonderful. Uh, he lets the rats scurry across the table to you. You haven't uh, touched your plates. Yop touches the plate. <laughs> Come now. Uh, well, just as you were concerned about the gift offered you, I am concerned about the gift of food that is offered me. What, uh, what would you like in return for it? Well, seeing as you merely asked for my kindness, I ask for your pleasantry. Very well. Uh, pick something up and eat it. All right. Uh, yop. Uh, first of all, the food is awful. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, and second of all, uh, from now on, you cannot greet anyone. No hello. No salutation. How you doing? Just kind of jump right into conversation. <laughs> uh -huh. Good luck trying to remember that one. It's like a a drinking game where you like you can't use the letter E or. or one of those. <laughs> Does anyone else eat? <laughs> <laughs> oh God. 
god. I do want to eat. I do. <laughs> I do really want to eat. Um, <laughs> you <and> cowards. <laughs> Oh, I've lost so much, Ted. I've lost so much. Yeah. Go ahead and give away your firstborn. Why not? <laughs> um, <laughs> to be as... fair, the purchase has been made. It was Yop's Pleasantries. Oh, then no. <laughs> You're not eating? Can I fake eat? <laughs> <laughs> Can I, can I slide a hand? <laughs> you know, I'm like, I, like, I was thinking, it's got to be sleight of hand or performance. Fuck, he's got expertise. Fuck, fuck. <laughs> I love performance for this. It is performance for sure. All right, fine. <laughs> you coward. <laughs> like, sleight of hand. Well, see, the thing is, I also thought you had expertise in performance. I don't. I'm not even proficient. <laughs> he doesn't need it. Kick ass. He doesn't need it. What? You're not? No, what are, I wasn't a performer when we started. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, you're fucking bard. <laughs> Maybe you picked it up when you multi-class into bard. Wait, no, wait, you just changed your bard. No, rip, Yeah, rip, uh, reclass. <laughs> rip. Yeah, Sarah, give me a free, uh... <laughs> He's watching you the most intently. <laughs> Do it, you coward! <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Craven! <laughs> I don't see if there's anything else that could help me, but I don't think there is. Hold on, I gotta pull up my Rat King stats. Ooh. Wait, if I did Minor Illusion... <laughs> you subtle he spell? Will, he will certainly know... That, yeah, unless you're subtling, he will certainly know you're casting magic. Well, it's somatic, so if I stealth under sleight of hand it... <laughs> <laughs> nah, not that yeah, one, for it. sure. Impeccable logic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, before this here we go. 19. You beat his passive perception by one point. See, don't you feel like you <laughs> earned it now? <laughs> Thanks, Jack of all trains. Is Krellick eating? I'm already licking the plate clean. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this food is great because uh, I'm an alligator snapping turtle base, so it's yeah. all, everything rotten is good. Yep. <laughs> um, the fermentation on this is like prom. <laughs> is Yop immediately aware of this change? No. Okay. Um... I'm gonna, I'm gonna burp loudly and um, uh, set the plate down and um, and say, um, I I actually had something I wanted to ask you about. Um, your rat ship. <laughs> <laughs> that, yes. That definitely a choice for title. That is, that is definitely <laughs> a choice you just made. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, you say that you know, like, um, like, you know, like, all kinds of moss and rats, like, all over Every the place. Every rat. Yeah. Hey, you know a rat named Bethany that lives in salt marsh? I know eight Bethany's in salt marsh. Oh, well, I only know one. Um. You should get more familiar. Um, well, I'm kind of familiar with this Bethany. Um, she's got a taste for um, spicy cheese. Spicy spicy cheese, Bethany! Yes. yes. Yeah, oh, you know the one. <laughs> I know every rat. Um, she's done me like a real solid and I told her like um, you know, if I ever met you, um, they, I'd just put in a good word for her, you know. Ah! Very good. Yeah, yeah, she's a good one. Um, wait, if you know every rat, I'm not like in trouble for eating rats, am I? Rats are eaten. I look at one of the rats nearby. 
You I'm... see him reach for a staff. I, a little bit of drool comes out of my mouth. <laughs> yeah, he's um, certainly for, for eating. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's... well, it's been lovely visiting with you. Uh, I think it's time we be going. Just um, a little snack for the road, maybe. Yup. Extends a hand and pushes uh, Krolik's lower jaw up a little bit to close his mouth. Snap! <laughs> I'm sorry. I, 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 I got rat fever. Um, what was we talking about? <laughs> rat fever? You should get that checked out. I can kill you. It can't? Rat fever? Absolutely. Black boils on your skin. <laughs> Get out of here! <laughs> uh, Regardless, politely bows. It says today, Rat King. <laughs> and they'll turn around and fuck him. That guy's a real spicy cheese, Bethany. <laughs> <laughs> he tap. He tips his paper crown to all of you as you leave. <laughs> Uh, and upon resurfacing, I need all of you to make constitution saving throws. Oh, Jesus. Oh, goody. Oh. Come on. I'm supposed to be good at that. I will burn an inspiration on that constitution saving throw. <laughs> Eve. What um, is this dumb thing I can do? <laughs> uh, ooh, okay, all right. Uh, is it like a belly rumble kind of situation? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. I've, well, there's a. Um. I'll um. I'll burn one of the skulls to gain advantage on. That. <laughs> I don't want to okay. roll. <laughs> you all save. So you are still all violently ill temporarily, but none of you are incapacitated for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should have ate that rat. Should have washed it down. <laughs> oh god, it's gonna go for the fence, Critic. I'm just gonna get in the water for a second. <laughs> yeah, you just gotta get in the water. Oh, oh, oh god. She's shit in the creek. That's <laughs> wretched. I assume I, I am praying that Yop opens up the front of her like bell diving helmet instead of just having like, <laughs> instead of just having like <laughs> it closed and it's filling up. <laughs> <laughs> in the spacesuit situation. <laughs> it, it's filling up until she reaches forward to open it and it all comes spilling out. <laughs> Oh, God. Uh, oh my god. Alright, you guys head back to Salt Marsh, I assume. You don't, you don't want to this continue is, on in this moment? This is putrid. <laughs> this is wretched. Yeah, feels like you here. <laughs> um, I do need to have... Uh, I don't... It, it's. I do need to check in with Joshua on the way back, just to ask uh -huh. him, like, hey, like, I got your freedom from uh, the Rat King. Mm -hmm. Do you do you actually want to stick around? Do you want to stick around? And, and yeah, this, me or uh, do... up until like the last few minutes, it's been a great time this whole time. Okay, well. Yeah, watching uh, all of that happen was a nightmare. Uh, I guess I almost did practically die as well. It's been a kind of a rough experience overall, but it has been way cooler than uh, everything else that I've lived through, living in the Dreadwood and all. Okay, well, uh, you're be more than welcome to stay and continue to assist me. Although I can pretty much guarantee that at some point in the future, there's going to be another scene like the one you just witnessed. Oh God! Well, thanks for the heads up. You guys head back to town. Mm -hmm. Uh, and everyone congregates. Uh, like five days after you have left. What's up? What you doing? What's the next scheme? Um, Yop will find Noel and 
attempt to make some pleasant greeting, but that fails. And so she just will blurt out, um, please begin talking in depth and in great detail about uh, the inner workings of Acquisition Inc. and Dim Dark Magic, please. Thank you. What? I am very interested and need to learn more about it. Okay, why do you sound like you are under duress? No, oh, I'm not under any duress. I just we just got back from the Rat King, and he pointed out that I don't know anything about how the franchise actually works, and I realized you do. And so, if you tell me, I'll know. And if we if we have the conversation, then it will be recorded, and then everyone will know. There's nothing secret about how it works, is there? It's a franchise. E e yes. So what? Don't you know? <laughs> well, let's be let's begin with uh, all this paperwork that you're constantly doing. Let's go through it paper by paper. <clears throat> well, we just negotiated for twenty five. Oh, <sighs> yeah, I can't do a piece of paper. Oh, yes, I'm not... Uh, yes, we shouldn't talk about the specifics of our oh. inner workings, but rather procedurally what happened. So uh, you negotiate, you engaged in negotiation with uh, HQ. How did that go? It went well. Uh, but, I mean, functionally, how does that work? It is an exchange of paperwork. Um... I imagine Yap will continue with these questions for as long as Noel will entertain them. Yeah, uh, I think the problem is that, like, Noel does not really understand what you want to know. Or, perfect. like, how to give you what you want. So Noel just keeps answering in ways that seem evasive, but are really just like, oh, well, nobody asks me questions about this, so I guess right. I'll start vague. <laughs> and, and that's exactly what Yap wants, so it, it works out perfectly. <laughs> Excellent. Great. What else? Um, uh, I asked to see um, our fancy bowl. Oh, yeah, at some point, I guess, <laughs> during those five days, we should have uh, made our way yeah. water deep. I was the only one locked down for several of those. Uh, Lucky could have done a day trip by herself. Uh, someone could have gone in with if they needed, but she could have done that. I can word of recall back. You guys are just going to have to visit the creepy temple with me. Yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright, dope. Uh, but we, it we can... can save 50 gold just by word of recalling. No. No, we're not going to be going to the crypts. That means... Mm -mm. Nah. Nope. Mm -hmm. Nope. 50 gold, that... You know what? I'll flip that one. <laughs> um, Yop will share with everyone the information about the Scarlet Brotherhood hideouts and various uh, numbers and whatever other information she uh, gathered. Um... Who is like that. gonna hit them like systematically, well one by one, you know, just taking them out? Um, some point, well, it, yeah. it it occurred to me that uh, this might be ideal information to share with Kira Shadowbreaker and her forces. Hmm. Yeah. That is a good I, idea. Yeah. Is she, like, already, like, in Satan? Uh, no, she should still be waiting in Burl for our uh, communication. It's actually good that we waited since some of these may be on her way. Plus, then she's not taking her army directly to Satan, and she can deal with some of these. Um... 
I was able to find out, and Zashel will pass on basically the knowledge that most of the Sea Princes are 100% behind the Brotherhood. Uh, he's going to be very vague on where the information came from. Um, ultimately, this does mean that without... Um, Without Goldir's forces, our chances of defeating the Sea Princes are very low. It is not just a few of the other princes. Uh, my source was somewhat clear that most of the princes are behind this, especially the, uh, the upper echelons of the princes. Hmm. Lucky? How do how do you feel about that? Uh not great. He's a tough spot. Have you considered what will happen if we find ourselves up against uh your mother and her crew. Yeah, I've considered it. You know, if you if you wanted, right, like, when we get there, you know, you, you can just, like, sit it out. You know, you, you don't have to be in, involved. Sure. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I think that we all would want you, you know, with us, but yeah, I, I mean, I'll understand. I appreciate it. We we still got time before he's all kicking off. Um, will you say we um you know break wave chaser's legs and um kill a vampire? Yeah, it sounds like a lovely idea to me. We should definitely get rid of Zolak. I don't know. I don't think we have any idea if there's any actual connection between the two of them, between the Brotherhood and Zolek, but that's one that we can take care of without having much to answer to the Council for. If we uh, attack Scarin right now, that might make the rest of our plans more difficult to kill Relic. Would make it easier. It could. Um, the, we could all the harder while we were in jail. Wait, well, we'll use in jail. Sure. You know we could. Um, there's a bunch of gunpowder, maybe still sitting in the um general store up there. I mean, we could get all that. You know, disrupt what it is that he's trying to do. We could put it all in wave chasers, like. House and then just load it up. I don't think that's a good idea. That might blow up the whole town. We don't know how much gunpowder there is. I mean, not enough to blow up like, a town. Are you sure about that? What? Mm. No. Hmm. But I shot cannons, and, you know, I, I don't think that there's enough to blow up a, a town. Definitely a building, for sure. Would, would I know if blowing up all of this black powder would do damage through the bubble that Zolek is currently in? <laughs> um... Seeing as 
you couldn't put any, like, objects or magic through the field. Um, unlikely. Okay. You know, it's just an RD, you know, about, you know, things we can do to try to, you know... I mean, if we're trying to stop them, you know, was we letting them get away with all these? No, you're definitely right. The powder from Winston's... And you mentioned there are other shops around Salt Marsh that are in the same position as him, undoubtedly storing more supplies for the Brotherhood. Finding those and relieving the Brotherhood of those supplies might be a good start here in Salt Marsh. I imagine much of that is still heading to Seton, given there's still at least a week until their plans go forward. Yeah, maybe. We'd have to go, you know, check on it. But I, I ain't got nothing to do today, so. No, I think I think you're right. I think we should try to relieve them of some of these supplies. I think we should deal with Zolek and make sure we save ourselves enough time to get to Seton. But things we can do here to keep Saltmarsh safe in our absence, we should do. Who uh, wants to try to kill a vampire? I do. Uh, how are we planning to do that exactly? Brutally. With fire, most likely. Mm, no, how are we going to get to the vampire and get him out into the sun? So that's what we're doing. Yeah. Why don't we simply destroy the house around him? I can do that. That may not be enough. That may, in fact, release him. I was thinking that those of us that can cross into his cell could... Well, I suppose that depends on how many of us can cross through the through the barrier. We oh, should yeah, he's like find that out. Find it. We won't be able to figure out nothing here, so what we go there and then, you know, do whatever. I agree with Krellick. I think some action is what we need. We've been sitting around and filing papers and drawing accords and planning, it will do us good, I think, to act even in as small a capacity as this might end up being. Plus, I mean, it's a vampire. An abomination, yes. You know, how hard could it be? Quite hard. How old is this vampire? Unknown. Very. So, quite hard, yes. The priests of Lathander, Cuthbert, I think. Well, we could ask Vendon. Vendon should know. Well, let's just bring him. Let's grab him and head over. Mm. Not a bad idea. Perhaps this action... I believe Venden said that it was his teacher, leader, compatriot, one of his order that created the barrier, sacrificed their life to create that barrier in the first place. Perhaps defeating this vampire will be enough to allow Venden to finally rest. Or Lathander to notice his plight. Or at least notice that kicking hat he's got on. It is a nice hat, yes. 
Literally, I'm just realizing because I was about to put this to a vote. Literally, none of us remembered we had advantage on our roll the last time. Oh God damn it! <laughs> for, it was for an hour, right? Yeah, it was yeah. for an hour. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. We 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 were well past that. You might have been able to use it for your fishing. Yeah. <laughs> Get a fucking oh, caught a big old fish. Caught a big fish. But then, you know, then you got to get a bigger one, <laughs> you know. <clears throat> All right. right. Let's grab the skull. Uh, okay. Bend in, we're going on a road trip. And you're coming. Hi! God How damn it. Would you like to assist in the destruction of the vampire your friend sealed away? I should find no greater pleasure. Excellent. Could you speak less loudly? I have no vocal cords, and modulation is difficult. <laughs> that was not a yes or a no. Sorry, I didn't catch that. Could you say that louder? That was a no. Ben just looks at you and it's like... <laughs> I don't think he has eyes either. <laughs> <laughs> no, he just, like, just turns his empty eye socket... <laughs> Looks at looks at Null and is like a, a bone creaking slowly <laughs> as his head rotates. <laughs> Want me to this be quiet? Fucking guy. Spell the magic, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like the old sidekick Jeff from the Craig Ferguson late night show. I don't know if that means anything to anybody, but I know. I know. Okay. All right. <laughs> Off to kill a vampire next week. Yeah.